In this video, I will explain how to control playback on Brightsign player using UDP commands. Uh, you can send them from Crestron or any other device uh, capable of sending UDP. In this example, we will create presentation with video files and by sending QDP commands to the player, we will switch playback between video files. We will also implement pause and resume video playback feature. We will use on-demand widget to add our video files. So I double clicked and then on the left side I need to open folder uh, that has video, video files. Now I can add videos to the widget from the bottom. Now every video has a key. This key will be the UDP command that you will send to the player. You can rename the key to any string you want. So this will be video one. And so on. When you send UDP command video four to the player, it will play this video. This checkbox uh, you can enable it if you want to send UDP commands from iPhone or iPad on the same local network as the player. You can install BrightSign application on iPhone or iPad and use it to send UDP commands to control playback. Now we need to use UDP event to connect our event handler with, uh, with the widget. Uh, the UDP input must be set to any. And then during playback, if we want to switch to an another video we need to add one more UDP event specify the same input and select target state uh, on demand widget now we will implement pause and resume playback. I am adding one more UDP event to the widget. Uh, I will name the UDP command pause. So as soon as the player receives pause command, the video will pause. We need to add Pause video command to to this UDP event, and we will do the same to resume. Resume UDP input will 
we'll resume playback okay that's it we can save the presentation and publish to our player in presentation settings you can you can change UDP settings if you want UDP destination address will be the IP address uh, where the player will send UDP commands if you want to send UDP commands from the player uh, and here you can configure destination and receiver ports so in our case because the player receives command we need to send UDP commands to the player on this port you can change the ports here if you need And we can also add media list, media end event, I think. And if the video ends, playback will go back to event handler state and stop. And wait until we send another UDP command to trigger one of the videos from on demand widget. So this, how this will work, first you trigger video, it plays, then if you, if you don't send other UDP commands, the video will play till the end, and uh, when the video ends, uh, this event will execute and playback will go to event handler and stop. And then we can send another UDP command to the player to start new video.